Hello YouTubers, this is uh, my personal opinions and uh, sort of minor review on the Bugera um, V5 Infinium um, combo amp. This is the uh, slightly more recent version with the uh, turbo uh, sound speaker upgrade in it, which I'm told is a bit of an improvement on the previous one. It's fairly typical little combo amp really, you know, normal input gain tone control, volume control, and what is, I think, quite good at this sort of price point these things are selling at, it's got a pretty good little reverb on it. It has got a couple of other sort of features. The back of the Make it. It's got a couple of um, fairly handy features. Uh, the, the output attenuator um, is, a, is a very handy thing, really, because it allows you to play at either 5 watts, 1 watt, or 0.1 watt. And believe me, 0.1 watt is quite loud enough for sort of a bedroom practice uh, and when you start getting up to the 5 watt mm, whilst I don't think the amp's really loud enough to practice with a band maybe if you mic'd it up and it, it was a small sort of I don't know pub gig or something like that not too uh, full on rock and roll it would probably be just about a cope um, there's a headphone output put on it as well which I have to say I don't particularly like the sound of but you know if you must practice without um, making your mother tear her hair out or whatever, it might well come in handy. The The other thing that it's got is this uh, tube life monitoring uh, LED, and it says uh, replace tube when lit. Um, I think this is a bit of a gimmick really, because uh, apparently it does clip the output of the uh, amp when it starts going flat out, and that's not really what you want. I mean, that's the whole point in a tiny little combo like this, that you get it, get it going you know, really well, and um, that, that's what it's all about, rock and roll dudes. Um, it's got a pair of valves, really. it's got a, a 12AX7, or ECC83 as we call them here in the UK, and an EL84 as well. Now obviously this amp being made in China, they're probably uh, fairly inexpensive Chinese ones it gets supplied with, so you may, you may find uh, an upgrade to some nicer tubes there is um, a beneficial thing in the, uh, in the medium term. Right, with the amp switched on, right away the, what, the first thing that is a bit apparent is when you give it a lot of gain, it is a pretty, uh, pretty hummy amp really, especially with single core guitars, which I think it suits really. And this is uh, my US standard um, Telecaster. Um, okay, you get some real dirt out of it. Quite nicely. With just a tingle of distortion on the edge of the tone there, um, I think it does suit fenders. Very much. I've plugged my last ball into it and it, it goes horrible, lots of distortion, but that might be your thing. I'm not the greatest guitar player in the world. But there we go, all round, I think, um, good value amp, really. You know, I mean, you're not talking mega, mega millions of uh, pounds or euros or whatever. You know, in the UK, they're, um, they're about 190 pounds, um, 210 euros, probably, uh, I don't know, 240, 250 dollars in the States, uh, depending on uh, if... Uh, whoever's got a good deal, musician's friend or something at the time. But all round for sort of bedroom use and a uh, um, little bit of a band practice and things like that, pretty good little amp really. 